Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Deity, February 28th. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Isaiah 53, 2. Nearly 2,000 years ago, a voice of mysterious import was heard in heaven from the throne of God. Lo, I come, a sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Hebrews 10, 5-7 In these words is announced the fulfillment of the purpose that has been hidden from eternal ages. Christ was about to visit our world and to become incarnate. He says, A body hast thou prepared me to be. Had he appeared with the glory that was his with the Father before the world was, we could not have endured the light of his presence. That we might behold it and not be destroyed, the manifestation of his glory was enshrouded. His divinity was veiled with humanity. The invisible glory in the visible human form. This great purpose had been shadowed forth in types and symbols. The burning bush in which Christ appeared to Moses revealed God. The symbol chosen for the representation of the deity was a lowly shrub that seemingly had no attractions. This enshrined the infinite. The all-merciful God shrouded his glory in a most humble type that Moses could look upon it and live. So in a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, God communicated with Israel, revealing to human minds His will and imparting to them His grace. God's glory was subdued and His majesty veiled. The weak vision of finite men and women might behold it. So Christ was to come in the body of our humiliation, Philippians 3.21, in the likeness of men. In the eyes of the world, he possessed no beauty that they should desire him. Yet, he was the incarnate God, the light of heaven and earth. His glory was veiled, his greatness and majesty were hidden, that he might draw near to sorrowful, tempted men and women. God commanded Moses for Israel, Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Exodus 25.8 And he abode in the sanctuary in the midst of his people. Through all their weary wanderings in the desert, the symbol of his presence was with them. So Christ set up his tabernacle in the midst of our human encampment. He pitched his tent by the side of the tents of human beings, that he might dwell among us and make us familiar with his divine character and life. Further reflection, Jesus is willing to become whatever I need, whenever I need it. What do I need from him today?